Welcome back to part three in our Bearded Dragon series. Um, in this video, we're, uh, Rosie and I are going to talk about uh, how we take care of her crickets and roaches and hornworms and all the different things that she eats. Okay, the first thing is this container is 25, what is it? It's 25 quarts or 24 liters. Um, and I usually, I have two of these and I usually put... 100 crickets in each one, or I put 100 crickets in one and 100 roaches in the other one, depending on uh, variety. But uh, as far as like the, the container for the food, I use one of these. It's just a, uh, a Ziploc container that uh, you can get at like Walmart or, or um, the dollar store even. And usually what I do is I'll take each corner and I'll dump some of this stuff in there it's, like it's orange cube stuff and it's basically just packed with vitamins and nutrients that the bearded dragons need and um, I dump it in and then in the corner and then in the other side I dump this stuff which this is a cricket quencher and it goes in the other side basically crickets can't drink water They'll drown themselves, so this kind of takes the place of that. Um, but I mean, as far as like when the uh, the dragons uh, eat their crickets, what you want to do? I, I know I showed this stuff in, in one of the other videos, but I'm show you again. This is calcium with vitamin D, and it comes in powder form. And this is uh, some other vitamin stuff. Okay. And uh, what you do is you take a tablespoon of each one of these, you put them in a Ziploc bag, and uh, you put your crickets or your roaches in the bag, you shake it up, and then it goes into the, uh, the tank with the, the dragon so that they can eat. But um, in the bottom of the container, um, before, uh, before I put the... Uh, Great. Right. Before I put this bowl in, um, I cover the bottom with uh, well, that stuff's kind of hard. With some of this stuff, and this is just a uh, uh, high calcium um, food dust, basically for the for the uh, crickets. But um, and then I take some of this stuff, which this is food pellets for juvenile bearded dragons. And what I do is I, I crush it up and I mix it with the, the other dust and the crickets, they eat that stuff, which benefits the, uh, the bearded dragons. Where are you going, Rose? Where are you going? No, you stay on your rock. You're not going to, are you? Are you looking pretty for... You don't have to establish dominance. That's, you know, you're looking at your reflection, right? <laughs> wow. But, um... Uh, you do the same thing for the, the roaches and the crickets. When they eat things like mealworms and, and things like that, you don't have to dust those. Um, same thing with the uh, green hornworms or uh, the tomato, to, were they tomato bugs or tomato worms. Um, same thing, you don't have to do anything with those. Um, these guys, they, they love all of those things. So um, there's never really a problem with, with them eating um, live bugs never um, as far as feeding uh, the dragons uh, pinkies or baby mice really you only want to do that if you're gonna breed them um, you know I mean other than other than that you can give them pinkies if you really wanted to um, but I wouldn't do it all the time and I would only do it like once or twice a year and that's it um, but I mean, that's basically it. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll include some pictures and, and a little, a few little video clips, um, of the, you're doing it again. 
<laughs> uh, I'll include, like I was saying, I'll include some uh, some pictures and some video clips and whatnot of the uh, the crickets inside the uh, the little plastic enclosures, and uh, you'll kind of get a bird's eye view of, of what's going on with that. Uh, that one there is empty, and the other one is just about empty. Uh, usually we go on, you know, every payday. Tomorrow's payday for us, so uh, we'll be going tomorrow to get their uh, their crickets. Maybe we'll get some roaches too. Who knows? Um, but I mean, as far as like, you know, when you feed them the the greens and stuff like that, just make sure, like I said in one of the other videos, just make sure that you rip up your greens um, smaller than their mouth because they won't eat anything that's bigger than their mouth. And you can also take this this same cricket dust stuff and uh, dust the uh, the greens too. That won't, won't never hurt them. And you can also take some of this stuff and sprinkle it in their greens and they'll eat it. These guys, they, they really, they'll eat it. It's not one of their favorites, but they will eat it. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, get to showing you guys some clips and some pictures. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us for uh, part three of our Bearded Dragon series. Um, I might have something planned, uh, a little special for uh, part four, just something real quick. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll get back to you uh, another time. Thank you.